Well, the Henry County Sheriff's Department received some good news today. They're now fully accredited. Of course, we're dealing with uh, years and years of scandal and controversy there at the Sheriff's Office. And now we have learned that uh, they did get their full accreditation. We're going to show you the full link presentation that took place this afternoon at the Henry County Supervisors meeting. And, and a job well done by the whole agency. I uh, would like to uh, say a few things first off about the program. Um, I think a few of you may know the process and kind of what it entails, but kind of want to give you an idea of what it takes to attain this level. Uh, it's not a level that's easy to be attained, and uh, the sheriff that I'll uh, introduce to you in here in a little bit that will present the award and say a few comments as well, I think he could reiterate as well as to uh, how serious and how important this program is. Uh, to start off by saying it's uh, BAILIAC, uh, Virginia Law Enforcement Accreditation Coalition, is basically what we fall under. And I say we as an agency. Uh, when you go before them and you want to get accredited, that's technically what you're working for, is that uh, that initial um, that initial uh, accreditation from BAILIAC, uh, which is, uh, it, it, it entails 187 standards, state mandated standards, that each agency in the state has to uh, comply with. And out of those standards, uh, there are a few that you can waive, there are a few that you may not meet, but for the most part, you have to meet all 187 one way or the other. Uh, in doing that, and that is not including the actual multiple bullets and the things that go along with it. Um, but the process is very gruesome. Uh, sometimes it usually takes two to more, maybe four years for the tops for most agencies to attain. Uh, it depends, it depends on the size of the agency, it depends on how much um, that the agency may have to comply with. Uh, in our case, because of what happened, as we all know, in 2006, it's taken us from 2006 to this year to get accredited. And the reason for that is not because we laid back or decided it took a while for us to get it. It just it was in the fact that we had to go through a lot of different changes to make things happen and to meet, eat, to meet each and every standard. And we, and we did that. Uh, we actually did that. Um, I would also like to say that agencies are not required to be accredited. Agencies are not required to mandate or meet any of these standards. Okay? If an agency decides to, it's on a voluntary basis. So if you volunteer for this process, then that means you do have to meet those standards. Now, you do get reassessed every four years. You have to maintain the process. Once somebody steps, once somebody comes in and assesses your agency, it's three assessors from around the state. They come in, they uh, assess your agency to make sure you're meeting compliance and you're doing what you say you're doing. And it's not just by the standard, but by your own policy. And once you do that, then they come back every four years. So that means as soon as they step out, we continue doing this every year. And we got to continue doing this if we want to keep it to maintain that status every year. And the sheriff, of course, made it very clear that we will continue doing this process each and every year um, to hopefully maintain this. Uh, like I said, it's not easy. Uh, there's a lot of policy and procedure that has to be written and that you have to comply with. And what that means is based not on the policy itself, but that you're actually out here on the street doing what you're supposed to be doing, either any officer on the street, in regards to that policy. So. Uh, Without any further ado, uh, with that, um, we went before the board. Uh, you have to go for the Vilepsi Board, which is Virginia Law Enforcement Professional Standards Commission. And it's comprised of six chiefs and six sheriffs. And what you do is you go before the board after this happens, and you, you know, your staff, and of course myself, and then there's a final report presented to that, to that board, which wherever it may be in the state. And once that's presented, then they make a recommendation as to whether or not we were accredited. And that's what we did. Uh, we did that uh, probably about a month or so ago, about a month and a half or so ago. And they basically, hands down, not a problem. We had one file returned out of 187 standards. Okay, don't get much better than that, okay? There are only, I think, either five, well, I think it's six, maybe seven in the state, I think, that have a zero return right now with nothing returned. But that usually takes anywhere from a second reaccred or a third reaccred before you can at least get that good, okay? It's usually going to be some. But we had one file returned, very minor. We fixed it, and what that basically means is that we had one thing we complied with. It is just what they saw in the file wasn't really up to the standard. They asked for the paperwork, we gave it to them, and we complied. So that's considered one file returned as a minor return. Um, went before the board. Uh, they unanimously voted us in as an accredited agency. And here today to present uh, that award and say a few comments about that and about DCJS is a real good friend of mine. Uh, he sits on the board currently now. 
Uh, he's the sheriff with the uh, Salem Sheriff's Office, and it's Sheriff Eric Atkins. Old Rick, whichever way you want to call him. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant. Appreciate, appreciate it. I talked to uh, Sheriff Perry, and per Sheriff Perry says, I really appreciate you being here, and actually the pleasure is all mine. Uh, to have to relinquish uh, your accredited status and then fight your way all the way back, it would have been very easy just to let it, dry, let it lie and not do anything with it, but to fight your way all the way back uh, to accredited status is uh, truly a tribute to uh, this, uh, this sheriff's office and uh, their leadership. So uh, the pleasure actually is all mine. I have to say, it's been a few years since I've been down to this wonderful complex you have here, probably years ago when I was uh, transporting inmates. So I decided I would hook up my GPS and uh, put in the uh, address for the complex. And it turns out it took me about 12 miles down through Sontag and about 12 miles straight back this way to the complex. Wonderful, beautiful country, but I'm not sure that's the quickest way to get here. Um, on behalf of the commission, I'm pleased to be here. The accreditation um, manager for the Virginia Accreditation Center for the Department of uh, Criminal Justice Services could not be here today. He had a couple of calamities in Charlottesville this morning that prevented him from being here. But he emailed me something he wanted me to read to you all, and if you'll uh, just bear with me just a minute, I'll read this and then uh, go, go ahead with the presentation. I am Gary Dillon, obviously this is Gary, manager of the Virginia Accreditation Center at the Department of Criminal Justice Services. I bring you greetings and congratulations from our director, Garth Wheeler, and from Secretary of Public Safety, Marla Decker. We are here to recognize the Henry County Sheriff's Office for their commitment to law enforcement excellence, as evidenced by their successful completion of the certificate, certificate excuse me, certification process of the Virginia Law Enforcement Accreditation Program. All accreditation programs are designed to measure and confirm compliance of the participating agency with professional standards in whatever discipline or profession they are involved. It is one of the only means by which citizens and government leaders can be assured that an agency is maintaining the high performance marks to which the community has a right. In Virginia, law enforcement ag agencies can seek and achieve accredited status, but they are not required to. Accreditation in Virginia is completely voluntary. This fact further distinguishes the Henry County Sheriff's Office for their commitment to the professionalism and their willingness to be measured by and compared to the best in the profession. The Virginia Law Enforcement Professional Standards Commission was formed in the early 1990s to provide law enforcement agencies in the Commonwealth with an avenue for demonstrating that they meet 187 accepted standards encompassing over 500 points of compliance for efficient and effective agency operation. Since then, out of 417 eligible law enforcement agencies in the Commonwealth, approximately 85 of those have become accredited under our program. It's still in its infancy, and uh, we intend to improve on those numbers. Each agency that participates must meet or exceed the criteria contained in each standard by demonstrating to the commission that they possess, utilize, and follow the adopted standards that are contained within their own policies, rules, and regulations. In August, a team of Vilepsi certified assessors assessed the Henry County Sheriff's Office and issued the report to the executive board advising that they had found this agency to be in compliance with all applicable standards as required by the accreditation program. On September 8, the executive board met and unanimously approved your sheriff's office for Vilepsi accreditation. As an agency applicant for accreditation, it is important to note that initial accreditation is not a laurel one may rest upon, as Lieutenant Ray well knows. Once accredited, the agency's active participation in the program does not cease. All agencies must maintain their accreditation files on an ongoing basis and submit to annual, annual verifications of compliance as required by the commission. On behalf of the Department of Criminal Justice Services and Secretary of Public Safety, I congratulate the entire Henry County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff Lane Perry, Accreditation Manager Lieutenant Ben Ray, for his attention to detail in maintaining the volumes of files required for the program, and the men and women sworn and civilian for their hard work, perseverance, and dedication to excellence in completing this process. That's from Gary Dillon, our accreditation uh, center manager. 
And now on behalf of the commission, Sheriff Perry. Come on. Again, it's my honor and my pleasure on behalf of the Virginia Law Enforcement Professional Standards Commission to award you your certificate of accreditation. Congratulations Thank and good you. luck in the future. Thank you. y'all's encouragement uh, y'all have been with us through this stage and process as well and I know in the meetings and planning sessions that you had this is something that we wished for a seal of approval for the community we've been very glad to do this we want uh, the trust we want to show that we're trying to do everything to the best we can and uh, once again thank you each and every one very good news for the Henry County Sheriff's Office of course they've dealt with uh, years of um, some issues, scandal, of course, four years ago before Lane, sheriff, uh, Lane Perry became sheriff. And it looks like now they've got the accreditation back. And of course, that's good news for Lane Perry, who's obviously in a special election or, or an election for sheriff uh, against uh, Mike McPeak. So obviously, I'm sure that that will be used in the election as uh, it draws near. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.